everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Google Tech Support Fundamental Certificate. I actually had a whole bunch of requests for this over the last few months, so I thought I would just like go ahead and make a video about it. I actually went through the trouble of like registering for the course and like going through it and then taking the exams and then actually passing the certificate. So I actually did get the cert and this video took like a while to make. So if you could smash the like button, that would be like super helpful to me. So in this video, we're just going to cover the cert. I'm going to do like a, a basic review on it and then I'm going to talk about a couple of ways that you can actually get the whole cert for free and provide a little bit of pre-study material for it if you're interested in that. And then in the end, we're just going to talk about how this cert can benefit you and like the different ways that it can be useful. So let's smash that like button and then get started on the review. So like I said, I did go out and get the cert and this is what it looks like. This particular cert was designed to help people more quickly get up to speed to be able to fill the talent gap for a lot of the jobs in IT. So if you get the certificate, you can kind of expect it to help you find jobs in this range. Of course, getting the certificate alone is not like a guarantee that you're going to get a job. It's just kind of one slice of the pie. I kind of talk about that a little bit in this video, so feel free to check that out after this one if you want. It kind of talks about different things that you can do to kind of round out your portfolio and help you to be like a more appealing candidate for these entry level IT jobs. So in my opinion, after having gone through the whole course, it's quite good overall. I would, if I were to compare it to something, I'd kind of compare it to like a really distilled down version of CompTIA A+. It's like Google took the curriculum from CompTIA A+, took like the really essential parts of the curriculum and kind of focused on those really well in this certificate and kind of focused on delivering that knowledge and skill set like really well. To study for and get this certificate, the material they provided is, is pretty good. It's not just like only text or like only video. It's like a combination like there's some videos, there's a little bit of reading, there's some practice exercises, which could be just like a multiple choice or it could be like an interactive thing. And then they kind of have a graded section at the end of each chapter. And the graded section is like, it's really interesting because sometimes it's some kind of sim or like some kind of drag and drop where you're like building a computer or something like this. Or sometimes you'll be logging into a VM and like doing some stuff and then you push a button to have like the stuff you did in the VM evaluated. It's pretty good. There's actually six weeks to this program or six different sections. You know, it doesn't have to take six weeks, but it's kind of divided up into six different sections. The first section is basically just a, an introduction, an introduction to IT in general. There's some few, a few videos and you learn how to use binary, like do binary conversions between binary and decimal. Then there's kind of a little exam in the end. And the second section or the second week is focused on hardware, like the hardware peripherals and internal components of the computer some videos, some practice exams. And then in the end, there's kind of a simulation where you kind of build a computer like a drag and drop scenario. And I think that was pretty good in lieu of like, of course, not having an actual computer. That's what they provided us quite good because having built a lot of computers before, it was like really obvious for me how to do the sim, like where the power supply goes and like the order of like CPU and heat sink and fan and like memory, you have to like put all that stuff in the computer. And it was all really recognizable and it was pretty useful. I would say like if I didn't have an actual computer to, to use when I was studying for A+, if I had something like that, that would be pretty cool. And then the third section or the third week goes over operating systems. And the final for this, I believe you have to log into a couple of VMs. Like they spin up a couple of virtual machines, like a Linux and a Windows box. And you have to do some stuff in those. It's like hands-on, it's pretty cool. And the fourth week covers the basics of networking. They don't go like too deep to where it gets like too hard, but it's just enough to like, for you to be able to like, at least understand what's going on and like know what an IP address is and, and all that. I thought the networking section is pretty impressive because it, it's really hard to learn networking and IP addressing without like learning a whole bunch of stuff on top of it, but the way they delivered it and packaged it, I think it was pretty good. And then week five was software. Basically the exam was you log into like a Windows computer and then a Linux computer and you kind of do something with the software in there, like install, update, uninstall, this type of thing. And it's pretty good again, because it's another hands-on section. And then the last section, section six or week six is just technical writing. And that is super easy. There's not really much I can say about it. So overall, I'd probably recommend getting this cert, like especially for the people who are like really, really new to IT. And there's like a, a few different reasons for this. The first reason is potentially you can get it for free, uh, which I'm going to talk about here in a second. Like mine was free. I got mine for free. And the second reason you might have guessed, I already kind of talked about this a little bit. The material for the course is put together like pretty well. It's they, I think they 
it's Google, so they they probably put a lot of time into it. They made it so it's not like really boring, and the stuff you're learning is like actually relevant, and then the, the way you learn it is like really good. There's like videos, and there's some text and some interactive components, and then there's a then there's a bunch of labs, which I, I think is like really 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 useful for IT. So the program is, is put together really well, and then the third reason I feel it's much more digestible and easily much more easily approachable compared to like CompTIA A plus. Like A plus is considered an entry level cert, it has a lot of stuff in it, and some of it I, is arguably like not really that necessary to you know perform and do well in IT. And they kind of took that uh, I don't want to say bloated, but they took that bloated curriculum and kind of distilled it down to the bare essentials, and then they teach you those like really important things. So I think it's like a really really good start. Like if you want to get like one foot in the door in IT, primarily it's like it's free and high quality. Well, it's not it's not free, right? It can be free, good quality, and it's really manageable to do. And getting into how you can actually get the cert for free, there's there's a couple of ways, potentially a couple of ways. Uh, the first way, which is the way that I did it, basically when you sign up to take this cert from Coursera, I'll put a link in the description. I don't know if it's going to be an affiliate link yet. I just don't know. But basically you sign up for Coursera and it's something like, I believe it's like $40 a month, $39 or $40 a month regularly. But the first seven days are free. It's kind of like a free trial. And if you manage to complete the whole search in that seven day period, then you can just get your cert and then cancel the trial. And then essentially you'll just be able to receive the cert for free if you finish in that seven day time period, which is actually like what I ended up doing. If you want to do this, there's a couple of ways to go about it. The first way you can just be like a cowboy, just go in blind and just like register and like do your best to like finish it in seven days is one way. And another way is you can kind of pre-study what's going to be like in the course before you actually register. So you can kind of pre-study the topics maybe for like a week or two or something or however long it takes. And then when you feel like you're ready, just register for the course and then kind of work through the material. And you'll have a much easier time getting through it than if you just like went in like totally blind. Like maybe you can just like take the exams like almost right away. I'll still try to learn as much as you can, but you'll just have an easier time if you if you pre-study it. Of course, this is this isn't necessary, but it, it might be useful if you want to save some money or you just don't have that much money to just have a Coursera account or something like this. I'll put a couple of links in the description. The first link is going to be just a Quizlet I found online. It looks like it was pretty good. And then the second link will be that same Quizlet, but I'll have converted it into an Anki deck if you would like to use that. I won't talk about Anki too much. There's a lot of videos about it on YouTube, but basically it's a nice spaced repetition smart flashcard application. So basically you just download it for free, install this Anki deck in it that I'm putting in the description, and then you, you're like good to go essentially. Just study that for a couple weeks or, or however long you need to, register for Coursera, take and pass the course within seven days, and then you'll have your certificate, cancel it, and then you'll, you'll essentially have the certificate for free. And then the second way to potentially get it for free is Coursera does have like a, a financial aid system of some sort. I haven't used it and I didn't try to use it, but you can Google it and you can kind of try to sign up for it. I believe they'll ask you questions about your financial background and stuff. And if, if you meet criteria, you can potentially, I believe you can potentially get it for free or, or maybe less money or something like this. I haven't tried it, but you might, uh, you might give that a shot. And lastly, we're going to cover what you can actually do with this certificate or how it can be potentially useful. So what we're looking at here is this is from the video that I made. That's like how to get a job in IT. And this is basically this kind of the checklist looking thing of the things that you can do that kind of increase your chances to get a job in IT. So these are kind of the six areas that I consider are important when you're job hunting. Of course, there'll be like a seventh area called like networking or something like this, but we're not going to talk about that. So basically, these are the kind of six base things you need to like cover in order to be able to get an interview and then essentially pass the interview. So basically where the, the Google Technical Support Fundamental certifi certification comes to place is it will give you like some knowledge. So kind of like these are the things that I some different things that I kind of recommend for the area. So we can just imagine like Google fundamentals is in here. So after you get the certificate, at least you can like cr check off something in this area. Like you, at least you have some some kind of base knowledge of IT. And it's also good to have some kind of certification for those entry level jobs to like really increase your chances of getting an interview. And the Google certs, they're not like that well known right now, like compared to CompTIA, but I think they're like really gaining popularity and like more and more people are kind of realizing that they exist. So getting the cert will like definitely help you like in this area as well. So 
after you get these two things, like if you if you really want to get like an entry level job, I have like a whole bunch of videos that talk about like how to like fill in the rest of these boxes. But basically, I have a bunch of videos on different like little labs you can do to like learn different things like Active Directory and, and PowerShell and this kind of thing where you can kind of make your own experience and like put it on your resume. Um, I have a video for that. And then, then I have a whole playlist about reviewing resumes. So I have a whole playlist about reviewing resumes. And then I, I kind of talk about how to look for and apply and apply to jobs and like a bunch of different videos. I'll kind of put all these links in the description and then interview preparation. I have like a whole playlist on doing like mock interview questions and answers and a bunch of videos on, on how to actually practice for, for the interview. So I'll go ahead and include all these in the description. So just to give you an idea, again, just to like reiterate on this, the Google technical support fundamental cert will kind of like help you in the, in these two areas. Then it's kind of like up to you to like, you know, check off the rest of these boxes to essentially like maximize your chances of, of getting a job. And remember, I'll put some links in the description to help you with that. The other thing that's kind of helpful that this certification will help you with is if you're interested in WGU at all, but you don't have like any experience or like any background, you can actually use the Google IT support fundamentals to satisfy your like prerequisite requirement in order to actually enroll in the degree program. If you don't have prior experience, like depending on the degree, they'll require you to have like some cert like A plus or something. But if you have the Google support fundamental certificate, that's like enough to satisfy the requirement as of as of right now anyway, and then you can like go ahead and, and enroll in the program. So yeah, that is my review on the Google IT support fundamentals certification. It was pretty fun to do pretty fun to make this video, although it did kind of take a while to like prep for it. So yeah, if you don't mind smash the like button and consider subscribing. Again, I always read and respond to everybody's comments on like every video. So if you have any comments or criticism, absolutely let me know. I do have a Patreon too, if you feel like supporting me. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this far. I appreciate you very much and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.